Tired of sitting in traffic? Well, who isn't these days? This might help. A new high-speed transportation system is going to be tested right here in Colorado. It's called a Revo. The company says it will eventually be able to take people from Denver to Boulder in just eight minutes. Now, before that can happen, the company is going to be building a test track. It will be a half, half a mile. We'll run along E-470 from 88th to 96th. Matt Croshall live along one of Colorado's biggest sources of congestion, I-70. And Matt, we certainly all want some relief from all the traffic. Karen, you know, our roads are built to handle about 3 million people. Currently, 6 million people are using Colorado roadways every day. And the big problem is, is that this is just getting worse. I don't think that anybody would say that our system is perfect right now, that we've got it figured out. Department of Transportation leaders are banking on a Hyperloop-inspired project, the partnership with Arevo, CDOT exploring right now. If it becomes a reality, it will function like an enclosed electromagnetic superhighway. It could carry cars up to 200 miles an hour. It could look like this Hyperloop system already being tested near Las Vegas. That company also working with Colorado transportation planners. We think we can unlock choices that people don't have. We can unlock mobility to keep the GDP growing, to keep the economy jamming here. Um, and we can do that at a very low cost and, and um, really unlock all of, of the Denver region. Arriva will build a test track near DIA. If all goes to plan, they could expand from Greeley to Colorado Springs and even reach Vail over the next decade. I can't widen every highway and arterial road in Colorado or in the Denver metro area uh, to, to deal with the transportation that's here today, let alone with what's going uh, in the future. And Revo's focus is on regional and super regional networks uh, that could serve the whole Denver region. The goal is to bring safe, low cost and clean transportation to Colorado, leading the way as a testing site for similar systems around the world. And you can bet that transportation departments across the country will be watching what Colorado is doing here in the next several years as they build that test site out there by DIA. If everything goes to plan, they could have something ready for us to use by 2021. We're live tonight up in Summit County along I-70. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.